take a look at that. All right, Skylar, so while you're working on it, I'm going to go ahead and, and refresh, and then uh, we'll go ahead and discuss with you guys that are all here. Did everybody have a good break? A good week off? Hopefully. All right, I see. Nita, very nice. Okay, so Donnell, I'm assuming um, if you could, um, so Donnell, go ahead and turn your microphone on. Um, and then, okay, so sorry, Donnell, there's another post. But anyway, so go ahead and turn your microphone on and explain if you can where the 4 over 11 came from. Okay, so where did you count from? So I'm going to put my my arrow there, like right here. Um, like up higher, you mean, or down this way? Oh, like way down here? Okay, so then you went rise four, one, two, three, four, like that. And then you went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, like that. Okay, so you have the right idea, Donnell. Um, go ahead and mute your microphone for just one second, okay? So you, you have the right idea of rise over run. The only thing is you, you so you have to start from a point, and this arrow is not quite on the point. So you're exactly right with the rise over run, but I would maybe start right here where my arrow is. Do you see where my arrow is here, how it's right on a point? And then if I go up one, I can go over one, two, three, and get to this point right here. Do you see how that is? Um, you're moving to St. Louis. I want to talk about that, Donnell. Um, so anyway, yeah, so if you go up one, two, you are? Oh no. When are you, are you coming back? Oh, you're moving on the 23rd of this month? Oh, we're going to be sad. We're going to miss you when you go well hopefully uh, I'll see you tomorrow and we can we can talk um, okay so yeah so anyway so you have the right idea Donnell with the slopes and the slopes are exactly the same the lines are parallel so that was really good um, the only thing is you, you want an equation so if this was the slope you would need to, to say y equals 4 11 x plus whatever the y-intercept is so if we go down and Examine Ashley's real quick. Um, she has a slope of 1 and a y-intercept of negative 3. So Ashley, where did you get a y-intercept of negative 3? Oh, okay. So, and this is a this is a common mistake actually, and that's totally fine, Ashley, because everybody does it. So Ashley found the x-intercept. Do you see how you found the x-intercept? You, you actually found the x-intercept instead of the y-intercept, which people do that all the time. That's really common. So the, the red line does intercept here at negative 3, but the y-intercept, you want this one up here. That's all. So close. And then the 1 over 1, so Ashley, check this out too, because you're going up 1 over 1, which doesn't quite get you to the line. Mm -hmm. So if you go up 1, you actually have to go over 1, 2, 3 to hit the line. You were on the right track with you had the y equals mx plus b, and you at least found it intercept, so that's good. So, um, very nice. And then, Ashley, you said you can slide. Okay, good, Skylar, I got yours. Um, it says you can slide line 1 in the coordinate plane so it becomes line 2 by multiplying by 2. Is that just, um, why did you say multiplying by 2? Okay. 
Um, well, you do go down two, right? Because from if you look at the red line compared to the blue line, look at that y-intercept on the red line. What number is that at? One. Good, it's at one. And what's your y-intercept um, down here on the blue line? Positive one or negative one? Negative one. Good job. So what's the difference between the red intercept and the blue intercept? Exactly. Good. So minus two. Okay. So basically to get from the red line to the two, the blue line, and if you could put all you guys' thoughts together, um, like Donnell said, the slope was four over 11, which we know it's not, but if you take the slopes, which are the same, which he said they were the same, you don't have to change that, right? Because the slopes are already the same. The only thing you have to change is the y-intercept. You just slide it down two. So like you said, you just go down two, Ashley. Exactly right. So Dustin, I'm looking at yours. You would slide the line down two, which you totally got right, um, except for that you understand, Dustin, that the slopes are not four over 11, right? Make sure you go from one point to another. Okay. Um, let me refresh then so I can see see Skylar's before we leave and go into some other things since you said you were you were done. Um, and Skylar, for some reason, it's, it's taking a while to refresh. Okay, well maybe what we'll do, Skylar, is we'll go back because I see that you you sent me a post, but for some reason it's it is not refreshing at this. Oh wait, here it goes. I think again our internet is very slow. All right, so I'll let it refresh in the background and let's um, let's carry on with our webinar, guys. Okay, so nice job on the discussion. So really the point of that, you guys have been working on linear equations and lines forever now. So I just want you to feel comfortable with being able to pick out the slope, pick out the y-intercept, and putting that in y equals mx plus b form. That's the, probably the foundation of this whole entire class, of everything you're learning kind of stems from that. Even when you do inequalities, even when you do absolute value, just understanding those relationships um, is really important. So we'll make sure to go back at the very end so you guys can do your um, post to somebody else. Okay, so today, you guys, our objectives are we're going to find parallel and perpendic perpendicular slopes and equations, which um, actually a couple of you guys already noticed that those lines were parallel, like Donnell, you noticed they were parallel, and I think Dustin, you said that too, and Skylar, I'm sorry I haven't read yours quite yet, but um, we're going to look at those a little bit. And that was in one of your previous lessons, um, which for some of you guys, it might be upcoming if you're not quite caught up. And then we're going to continue to practice with um, graphs and finding key points and equations. So go ahead and you guys should all be back in the webinar. So go ahead and pick a notepad and put your name in it. Type your name in it. Any notepad you want. You get to choose. There's actually seven total, so there's one for everybody. So good job, Skylar, Leda, you have already claimed, and Ashley, perfect. And Dustin, all right, Donnell, which one are you choosing? You get to pick five, six, or a little six up above. Um, Donnell, do you want to be number five then? Go ahead and type your name in number five, how about? We'll give you number five. So what I want you guys to do then for number one in your notepad, type, um, so go ahead and leave your name in there because then I can see, and it's easier for me to be like, Ashley, what is that answer? It's so perfect, or Skylar. <laughs> I know you guys only have perfect answers, yes. Okay, so for number one, what do you know about parallel lines? So type in there what you know about parallel lines. Okay, and then when you get finished with that, for number two, type in there what you know about perpendicular lines. Anything that you can think of that you know about perpendicular lines. Okay, good. All right, Donnell. What? Oh, okay. So anything you can think of. So good, you guys are all working on it. That's awesome. You know I love to see that. You guys are working so hard. Okay, 
Very good, very good. And Ashley is getting her notes, so wonderful. She's taking notes, that's awesome. Very nice. All right, Skylar, what do you think? You started, then you stopped. Okay, good, good. You guys are doing a great job. You guys are doing a great job. Awesome, awesome. Good job. Sanel, Leda, you guys are doing a good job. Dustin, very nice. Okay, Skylar, good. And Ashley, way to go. You guys are doing awesome with the parallel lines. So whenever you're done, go ahead and go to number two and type in what you know about perpendicular lines. So you guys already have some great knowledge about parallel and perpendicular lines, I'm noticing. You're doing a good job. And that'll make when you watch the lesson even easier because it'll be familiar to you if you haven't already tried it. And I know some of you guys have already tried the lessons with parallel and perpendicular lines, so it'll be a good review for you. All right, Donnell, good. Very good. Leda, you're, you guys are all exactly right. And then um, Dustin, you might want to explain a little bit. They intersect at the same point. You mean like at, do they both intersect at 1, 1 or 2, 1? Or give me a little more information on yours. Um, Ashley, yes. All right, Skylar. Good. You just need a little bit more with your perpendicular lines, and then we'll discuss. Very good notes. Very impressed. Very nice. Yeah, so you guys, note taking, very important. Very, very nice. I just want to say Ashley had some really good notes here from the lesson, and um, she was able to refer to those. And the other thing that's great about notes is that if you guys take your notes and then you're doing a, some of your little mini um, summative assessments, you can always refer to your notes, and that can help you to solve those problems too. And you guys will start to notice that you will have um, every couple of weeks, you'll have a little mini summative assessment. I felt like that was a little bit better for you guys than the huge, ginormous, long ones. Um, also, before all your summative assessments, um, you guys will always have um, a little review. And the review is good because it helps you to know exactly what's going to be on that summative assessment. So just make sure you always do the review and then compare it to the answer key, which will always follow it. Okay. All right, you guys, so let's look at what you all wrote. So you guys are doing an awesome job. So Skylar said um, for parallel that they can be the same. They don't intersect. And so Skylar, um, being more specific, I think what you mean is that the slopes can be the same, right? And then Ashley, you said parallel lines will never intersect, and they have the same slope. You are right on. And then Dustin, they go the same direction but don't intersect. You are perfectly right, meaning that they have the same slope. They go in the same direction. Uh, Leda, they go the same direction and never intersect. Awesome. And then Donnell, they are the same and they never cross each other. So you guys, the, the theme that you're all saying about parallel lines is that they have the same slope and they never cross each other. That is exactly right. Um, now you guys, the one thing about parallel lines that I do want to point out, and nobody mentioned this exactly, is that they will have different y-intercepts because they're in different locations on the graph. And we'll look at that. If if, they're, if they have the same y-intercept, then they're the same line, so they're not parallel, right? They're the same. But So you guys are awesome. Good answers. So number two, perpendicular lines. Um, so we'll go the other way this time. Donnell says two perpendicular lines are not the same. Okay, that's true. They're not the same, and they do have different slopes. So that's true. So what we want is a little more specifics about what that means. Um, Leda says that they cross each other, and they do. And again, let's do a little more specific. So Dustin said they intersect at the same point. Again, I want to know, I'm wondering, what does that mean? What does that mean? Um, and so Ashley's still typing, but she said the lines will intersect and they have two right angles. Awesome, they do. They have two right angles. 
um, and then we know they are perpendicular. And when we get into our geometry unit, we will be looking at that as well. And then Ashley put in some detail from her notes, which I liked. They have negative reciprocals. Exactly. So she's defining the slopes. Negative reciprocals. So we can talk about that. And then um, Skylar said perpendicular lines can intersect and they both have two right angles. Perfect. So we're going to have a little bit, I think we need a little more detail about perpendicular lines and that will help you guys to find them too in your equations. So good job you guys. Um, Donnell, you can't hear me? Oh good, okay. I was going to say what happened. I'm out. Okay, so parallel lines have the same slopes and they never intersect. So you guys got that right on. Um, perpendicular slopes are opposite slopes, meaning they have to have the opposite signs, right? If one's going in the positive direction, the other one has to go in the negative direction. So in reality, you guys will see them because um, these are vertical and not, it may look more like this, right? So if one line is going up in the positive sloping direction, the other one will always have to be the opposite negative. So that's what that means by opposite slopes. Reciprocal slopes means that the slopes flip. So if you have one half, say that this slope is a one over two, the other one is flipped. So this is two over one. Okay, so those are two key things. They have to have opposite reciprocal slopes. Okay, so now what I want you guys to do in your same notepad underneath what you guys have already written, I want you to write an example so this is number three in your notepad. Write an example of two linear equations that are parallel. So everybody could have a different answer. The only thing is your equation has to be that they are, um, well, you're going to have two of them, right? Y equals mx plus b form. So you're going to have two lines, make them be parallel. So write two lines and make them be parallel. So y equals mx plus b form. You guys are making up your own. You get to be super creative. So you guys are just going to type in y equals. So go ahead and type number three and type y equals because everybody should have y equals, right? And then you're going to put your own m and you're going to have an x and then plus whatever b or minus whatever b depending on what you guys put. Okay, so you're going to have two equations because what you're really doing is, see this potato head guy, he's got two lines that are parallel, so I want an equation for the top line and an equation for the bottom line. But again, they're going to be any equation that you guys want. So Skylar, does that make a little bit of sense, what we're doing now? Do you guys need an, me to give you an example? You're good, Ashley? Okay. So anybody, Skylar, you do? Okay. So Skylar, if I was going to make up my own, and now you can't use this one because this is mine, right? For my first equation, I might put y equals 2x plus 10. For my second equation, then, I would have to put y equals, also has to be 2x, right? Because 2 is my slope. They have to be the same. My second equation would be y equals 2x plus 3, or y equals 2x minus 12. Okay, so y-intercepts don't matter, but notice that both of those equations have the same slope. And that's what we know about parallel lines, is that they both have the same slope. So as long as my equations have two slopes that are the same, they could be any equation in the world. You have a huge number to choose from. You have an infinite number. Okay, so good. So Dustin is already going. Okay, and so now as you guys go, um, now that you can see what some people are putting, make sure you, you choose a different slope so that we're not all being the same, but later you and Dustin were kind of doing it at the same time, so it's not a big deal. Um, and actually your slope is a little bit different than his, so that's perfect. Oh, are you running out of power, Ashley? Yeah. That's good. Good, so Leda and Dustin are done. Awesome, and you guys? So Leda, I'm just looking at your two slopes. Answer me this question. Are they the exact same slopes?
from your first equation to your second? And you can type in the chat if you want to, Lita, but are your slopes the same? So, okay, so Dustin, I see you are good. Oh, no, I don't think so. Okay, so why are they different? Leda, can you explain, like, what is the slope on the first one compared to the slope on the second one? So, Donnell, don't use the same as Leda, okay, because you got to make up your own. So, don't use the negative 3x anymore. So, Donnell, erase those and make up a whole brand new one. Okay, Skylar, are your slopes the same? Remember, parallel slopes, it says, have to have the same slope. So, Skylar, are your slopes the same? Oh. Sorry, you guys accidentally switched. Sorry. Um... Oh, uh, hang on. I'm going back. Okay, there. So, Skylar, your slopes, write what your slopes are then. Let me double check your slopes. So, okay, so Skylar, write, write in the um, chat box or below if you want what your slopes are. Okay, so somebody clicked on something, I think. Now, can you guys still see the um, webinar then? Oh, I see why. Okay, so you guys don't click on anything if you're a presenter. Otherwise, I'm going to have to take away your rights. Share my screen. Okay. All right. Very good. Donnell, we're still, so Donnell, you need to still do the, um, in your notepad, number three, but Donnell, I want you to change your equations because those are the same ones almost that, um, those are the same slopes that um, Leda did. So you, well, you changed them, but you still have the same slopes. Can you do some different slopes? Do a little bit different? All right, and then, so Skylar, what I want you to do is type in there, tell me what your slope is for your first equation and tell me what your slope is for your second equation. So type that in the chat box. And then we're just waiting on Ashley. And then um, Leda, what, how would you change it then if your slopes are not the same? So how would you change one of them? So good, Donnell, good. So you've got a new one. Okay, so Donnell, are your slopes the same? Because we are doing, write an example of two linear equations that are parallel. And remember, if you look up here, parallel slopes, if equations are parallel, their slopes have to be the same. So, Donnell, are your slopes parallel? Are they the same? Okay, so, Donnell, here's what, here's what I would ask you. What's your slope, then, on your first equation? Okay, so Ashley, good job. Nice job. Dustin's got it. And, okay, good, Donnell. So your slope on the first one is 18. You're exactly right. So Donnell, what's your slope on the second equation? Okay, so it's not seven, right? Seven is your y-intercept. So try one more time. What's your slope on the second one? Perfect, three. So are three and 18 the same? No. And if you remember that if lines are parallel, 
their slopes have to be the same. So how could you change the bottom one to make it be parallel to the top one? And Leda, so Leda, I'm going to ask you also, okay, good, Donnell, you are perfect. So Leda, what's your slope on your top equation? Type, put that in the chat. What's your slope for your top equation? Ah, okay, so that's the problem. See, I, you say 3, but I'm looking at yours, and it looks like negative 3. Do you see the negative 3? Okay, and your bottom one. Very good, very good. Is That is better. That is better. Good job. Okay, so it looks like, okay, so Skyler, the only one. So you're kind of doing the same thing I think that Leda is doing. So, Skyler, are your slopes the same? Skyler, I see you typing. That is good. You don't know. Okay. So Skylar, what's your slope in your top equation? How about that? Can you identify the slope in your top equation? Move that over there. And you're typing. Okay, and if you guys are waiting, why don't you guys try number four? Um, why, so I'm going to talk to Skylar, and you guys go ahead and do number four. So you're going to do the same thing, but you're going to write an example of two linear equations that are now perpendicular. So all you guys are all right, and I just need to work with Skylar for just a second. So you guys do that for number four while I, I work with Skylar a little bit. So Skylar, do you see if you can write, and you can type it in your notepad or in the chat, do you know what the slope is for your first equation? Yep. Uh, okay, Skylar, that's no problem. Okay, so if, when I look at your first equation, y equals negative 5x plus 4, your 4 is your y-intercept, right? The one that's all by itself out there on the end, that's always your y-intercept. That's where it starts, okay? It starts at 4. Um, the number next to your x is always your slope because that's how much it goes up per every x. So that negative 5 is actually, that's your slope. So you're saying your slope goes down 5 over 1. So down 5 over 1, it's a constant slope. But that's your slope, the negative 5. Okay? So based on that, look at your second equation. What's your slope then on your second equation? Skylar, what do you think? And then Skylar, just let me know if you're still confused. Just let me know that. But go ahead and either type in what your slope is or tell me you're still confused. Okay, you're still confused. Okay, so Skylar, your slope can only be the 5 or the 4. There's only two numbers, so which one do you think it is? The 5 or the 4? Which one is your slope? The 5. You're exactly right. Good. Um, your slope is your 5. So if your slope is 5 in the second one, and in the first one your slope is negative 5, are those the same slopes? No, exactly right, Skylar. Very good. And if lines are parallel, they have to have exactly the same slopes. So can you change one of those so that they are then the same? Okay, now the, you don't want them to have the same y-intercept, though, because then, then you have the same line, right? So you need to leave your y-intercepts different. Okay, and if you, come, if you go over and you look at, um, like, next to you, um... Ashley, I think that's you. If you look at, like, say, Ashley's next to yours, so she has one equation that's y equals 2x minus 3, and her second equation is y equals 2x plus 1. Notice that her slopes are the same. They're both 2, but her y-intercepts are different. 
if your y-intercepts are the same, then you really you have the same line. You don't have two separate lines. All right, so, okay, so Skylar, the only thing is, so your top one is still negative 5x, and your bottom one, so you still want a y equals, right? Not a y plus. I think you might have typed the plus by accident because it's on the equal sign. <laughs> That's okay. I know I know what you mean, Skylar, so it's okay. Donnell, it's okay. You can her her webinar should not interfere with ours. So so good, Skylar, you can leave your equations like that. Y equals five x plus four and y equals or negative five x I should say plus four and y equals negative five x basically plus zero. So you have two equations. Good. So Skylar, hopefully that helps. You have now um, created two lines. That are parallel, perfect. So, um, what you want to do is, um, so Donnell, we can we can talk afterwards, okay? So, what you want to do then is to come up with an equation, two equations for lines that are perpendicular, okay? So, um, Donnell, you still need to come up with the answer to number four. It looks like Dustin. Still needs two and Leda still needs two. So come on, you guys. Number four. So Ashley, good job. You're thinking of a good one? Dustin, it's okay, just put anything down. So let's get one more and then we can talk about it. Okay. So put down. Put down two equations that have perpendicular slopes. So Ashley's is a good one to look at, but just don't copy hers. Make a totally different example, but she has done exactly what she needs to do for that. Okay, and this is a really good time for you guys to practice. Skylar, you're typing in um, Ashley's, by the way. Hey, Skylar. Um, oh, you have it underneath, Leda? Did I not scroll down? Oh, I see what you're saying, Leda. Okay, so you are really close. You're really close. I see what you wrote. Um, so you have the opposite right. That's awesome. But then they also need to be reciprocal. So you have half of it right, right? You did the opposite slope. So one's positive, one's negative, which is perfect. But then you also have to do the reciprocal slope. So your top slope is positive 3 over 1. So how could you change your bottom slope to be a reciprocal? Think about that one because you're really close. And Dustin, that is perfect. You are spot on with that. And then let's check out... Okay, so Donnell, you have two different slopes, okay? So those are not parallel and they're not perpendicular either, okay? So look at the perpendicular definition. First of all, they have to be opposite slopes, right? So if one's positive, one has to be negative. Secondly, they have to be reciprocal slopes. So if you look at, say, Dustin's, for example, his top slope is 5 fourths and his bottom one is negative 4 fifths. So do you see how he flipped them to make them be reciprocals? So you want to come up with um, a second equation where you flip the slope. You take the reciprocal. Okay, so, and Skylar is still working on it. Nice job, Skylar. Nice job. Very good. Awesome. You got three-fifths and negative five-thirds. Perfect. So, Skylar, the only thing is you've got um, the three-fifths x, and then I think you just left out, you just need like a plus one um, and not a... Um, one right after. And again, Skylar, your, um, your y-intercepts, don't they can be the same on this one, but they don't have to be the same. So just so you know, they can be different. Um, but yeah, so Skylar, you got it too. Okay, so Donnell, do you see um, where you're going astray on yours? You just have two random lines. They're not parallel or perpendicular. Okay, so there has to be a pattern. All right, you guys, good job. So we spent a lot of time on this. Um, let's go through and apply a little bit of what we know. Um, and you guys can keep typing if you want. So here's an example of parallel lines, right? So if we notice something that's in common, notice the slopes. You guys, the slopes are the same, right? 
the slopes are 3 fourths and 3 fourths. And I'm going to highlight that. So anytime you have lines that are parallel, see these slopes, they're the same. But notice that our y-intercepts are different, right? They intercept the y-axis in different locations. One thing about parallel lines is that the distance vertically between the lines at any point are the same, okay? Okay, so those are your parallel lines. Um, your perpendicular lines, okay, so let's look at our slopes here on our perpendicular lines. So our top slope here is a negative two, so our bottom one has to be the opposite. So it has to be positive and it has to be the reciprocal, and it is, it's a positive one half, okay? Okay, and notice that um, if one is going negative, then the other one has to go, to be perpendicular, it has to be positive. So that's why they're opposite. <clears throat> and we can count the slopes if we needed to, um, to see. So Donnell, this is kind of maybe good for you to see. So I picked a point, like say right there, I'm gonna pick another point, and here's a good point here. My slope goes, so if I'm looking at rise over run, from this point, I go up one, two, and over one. Right, so my slope is up two over one, which is what this is, and it's a negative sloping line. If I look at my other line, I'm gonna pick some points. So I'm gonna come down here, actually, because this is right on the crosshair, and I'm gonna pick this one, and this goes up one and over two, which is what my slope is here, one over two. So you can visually see how the slopes are reciprocals of each other, and they're also opposite of each other. Okay, let us go on then. Um, okay, so you guys, let's try this other exercise here. So this is going to be quick and easy. Okay, so it doesn't take a lot of thinking or a lot of thought. <clears throat> what I want you to do is go ahead and scroll down in your notepads, and you're going to number from 1 to 6. So do that real quick. Go ahead and number from 1 to 6. So this is, this is not a long thing. So just go ahead and, and number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in your notepads. All right, good, 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 good. You guys are doing good. And Skylar, nice. And Ashley's got hers going. Very good. And Dustin, where are you? One through six. Donnell, where are you? And Lita, good job. So I'm just not seeing Dustin and Donnell. Did you guys leave? If you guys are still here, raise your hand on your hand thing. Otherwise, I'm just going to assume you guys are gone. Gone, lost in space. Ah, uh, Skylar, I know you're here. I saw you numbering. Dustin, you're here. That's good. Donnell, you're here. Awesome. Okay, you guys are all here. So just number. Number one through six. That's why I'm not thinking you're here, because you guys didn't number one through six. So Donnell and Dustin, number one through six on your notepads. Come on, you guys. All right, and then go ahead and start answering these um, questions. So all you have to type is parallel, perpendicular, or neither. <clears throat> so on number one, just type, are those parallel, perpendicular, or neither? Just type that. And then number two, are those parallel, perpendicular, or neither? So you are just merely typing the, one of those three words in your one through six. Donnell, where's your one through six? So good. People are off to a good start. Skyler, if you're not sure, just make a, make a guess. It's totally fine if you just make a guess. All right, Dustin, at least you have one through six. Very good, very good, very good. All right, Skylar, good. You're working on it. Awesome. Ashley's working on it, too. Dustin. Donnell, I'm not, I'm not seeing... Uh, I'm not seeing any one through six on there. Marquise, how are you? So Marquise, you um, just came into our webinar and that's great. Um, what you can do is you can be in number six, which you are, so perfect. Figured that out so fast. 
So what, what they're doing right now is they're just numbering um, one through six, which they've already done, and they are answering whether those those are all slopes up there, and they're determining if they're parallel, perpendicular, or neither. So for like number one, some people are saying neither, some people are saying perpendicular. Um, and Donnell, you are, are you sure you're here because you have not done one through six? And then um, on the last one, when you guys get to six, right, there's a hint. You have to find the slopes between the two points first. And then I think what we'll do is um, we'll probably save the data analysis for next time just because the parallel perpendicular stuff's taken us a little while. So we'll, we'll work on this, and then we'll just do a couple of... Um, quick equations and then I'll let you guys go back into the discussion so that you can um, finish your posts and then you can go. So uh, Donnell, I don't think too much. You just have to look at it and know. So like number one. There is. Well, just two slopes. You don't have to do the full equation, Ashley. I know you always do the full equation, but you don't have to. It's way too much work. <laughs> way too much work. So we're still using m squared y and m squared. You got it. Perfect. Yep. So when you get to number six, um, that's what um, Ashley was saying. Okay, Donnell, that's fine. Well, go ahead, Donnell, and number one through six then if you're back. Um, but for number six, what Ashley was asking is um, do you use that m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, and that is exactly what you use. That was perfect. So you just want to find the slope between the first two points and the slope between the second two points, and then you'll know. You'll know. Good, Marquise, good. You're already filling it out. Way to go. Way to pick up. Awesome. Nice job. All right, looks like you guys are doing a really good job. You're almost to six. Dustin, you have one last one to go. Skylar, good. You've got them all done. Nice, very nice. Ashley is um, also just last one to go. Donnell, what is going on? Not seeing any from you. Leda, good job. You have all six filled out. Very good. And Marquise is really picking up the pace here. Awesome job. All right. Okay, so Ashley's deep in thought. Giving her jeopardy. All right, so I'll give you guys just another like 30 seconds, and then we'll go over. Um, so, Donna, what you can do is, um, I didn't know you had a little tiny baby brother, um, but anyway, just um, if you miss our answers, you know, just go back and watch this part of it when you get finished. Okay. So, let's look at the first one, and if you guys are finishing up number six, that's okay. We'll just do it together. Um, so, let's look at number one, you guys. So we have a negative 2, and this might make some of you guys change your mind, right? So negative 2 is really negative 2 over 1, right? So you have negative 2 over 1. Oh, your cousin. That's fine. And your other slope that you have is 1 over 2. So let me ask you guys this. Are those opposites? Are they opposite signs? Yes. Ashley says yes. I'm going to assume you guys are saying yes. Are they reciprocals? So I got an answer from Ashley, and we'll see what Leda is going to type. Yes and yes. Very good. So you guys, if they're opposite and they're reciprocals, ah, very good, Skylar, yes and yes, then we know that these are actually perpendicular. Perpendicular. So a little tricky, a little tricky. So um, Ashley has perpendicular. Okay. You changed yours. Okay, good. And... Um, Leda has perpendicular. Nice job. Okay, good, good, good. So now you guys can at least see why. So, num so number two. 
Number two, okay, so let's look at number two, because I've got a neither, I've got a parallel, I've got a perpendicular, I've got a neither, and a perpendicular. So a wide variety, you guys. But you know, always if in doubt, if you need to, write it like this. So you've got three over one, and you've got negative three over one. Okay, so we can answer the question. First of all, are these the same slopes? Very good. No, they are not because one's negative and one is is positive. Yes. So, and good, lady, you're right. So they are not the same slopes. We know they're not parallel. So now let's do our perpendicular test. There are they opposite slopes. Opposite. Yes, they are opposite, but are they reciprocals? No. No. Good. They are not. So these are neither. Good, because even though they're opposite, they're not reciprocals, so they are neither, neither, neither. Okay, number three. All right, so Skylar, kind of scroll down on yours. Oh, good, parallel. Ashley, parallel, very good. Dustin, parallel. Leda, neither. Okay, so Leda, let me ask you, are they the exact same slopes? Yes, they are. So if they're the same slopes, what should they be? Oh, what should they be? Same slope, yes, yes. And later I'm going to scroll down on yours. Yes, very good, Leda. Parallel, nice job. Okay. And Marquise, very nice. Okay, so good, you guys. So this one is parallel. Good, good, good. Okay, so next one. So this is parallel. Just put this in here for you guys, for your happiness. Okay, on the next one, we have negative 1 over 10 and 1 over 10, number 4. <clears throat> so we had a lot of perpendicular on this one, except for Leda, who said neither. And let's see what Skylar said. Skylar, what did you say? You said perpendicular. Okay, you guys, so all you guys that said perpendicular, though, okay, because Leda is actually correct on this one. Are these, these are opposite, right? <clears throat> but are they reciprocals? Is 110 and 110, are those reciprocals? Ashley, are those reciprocals? No, not reciprocals, not reciprocals. So these are, these are neither, neither. Good, Leda knew. So if they are not reciprocals, then we have neither. Good. Okay. That was for number four, yep. Yeah. So in order for those to be parallel, you'd have to have a negative 110 and then 10 over 1. So just very tricky, you guys. Okay, so let's look at number five. So number five, you guys said, was a neither. And Ashley, what did you say? Can't see yours here. You said perpendicular, and Dustin said neither, and Leda is saying perpendicular. Donnell didn't see that one, and we're getting a neither from Marquise. Okay, you guys, again, on this one, it helps to write it out. Okay, so Donnell, you're saying perpendicular. Okay, so negative one-fourth, and four is the same as four over one, so... Let me ask um, Marquise, and you can type in the chat box. Are those opposite slopes? Are they opposite as far as opposite sign? Marquise, what do you think? Are they opposites? That's the question. Yes, very good, they are. Okay, so let me ask this question. Dustin, are those reciprocal slopes? Are they reciprocal? So Dustin, you can just type in the chat box yes or no. Yes, they are reciprocal, or no, they are not reciprocal. What do you think? Okay, so reciprocal means they're just flipped, right? So 1 over 4, if you flip it, do you get 4 over 1? Yes, yes. Yes, very good, Dustin, very good. So they are reciprocal slopes, and they are opposite, 
So guys, if that's the case, you meet both tests and they are therefore perpendicular, perpendicular. Okay, a little tricky, but see, good thing we're going over it, you guys, good thing. Okay, so for our last ones, we have to find the slopes first. So I would do y2 minus y1, so 9 minus 5, right? And then x, you you didn't get it right, you don't think? You want to change your answer, Ashley? You can. Okay, so 9 minus 5 is 4. Negative 1 minus 2 is the same as negative 1 plus a negative 2. So you add those together and get negative 3. Okay, then on this next one, so y2, 4 minus 1. So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Well, you have two negatives, so you can change this to a plus, which means you have to change that one to a plus. So you would get 3. 4 minus 1 is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. Ah, so, all right, you guys. So if you have an answer and you want to change it based on this, you can. Skylar says a neither right now. So, actually, you don't have to make the whole equation. You just have to either say parallel, perpendicular, or neither. Oh. You made a whole equation. Oh, okay. and, and so you don't have to do that. But, see, trying to do extra work. Um, so we have a neither by Dustin. We have a perpendicular by Leda. Sunel's not in. And a neither. So I'm going to have to give the award to... Leda. Nice job. Those are perpendicular, right? They're opposite slopes and they are reciprocals. 4 over 3, if you flip it, you get 3 over 4. Notice you have one negative and one positive. So, guys, did you figure that one out? Yeah, I did. Awesome. Good. All right, you guys, so the key is now being able to just recognize and understand perpendicular and parallel slopes. Any questions? We're just going to do one last little thing before we I let you guys in. <laughs> Marquise, you've got the neither perp. You changed your answer. That's good. Any questions from you guys at all on this stuff? Parallel, perpendicular. Okay. All right. Well, remember at the end, I'm going to have you guys go back in post something and you can post what, something from what you learned too so that would work all right so here is um, our last slide today and just because you have some problems like this and I just want to make sure you guys are good with that um, how to do these and like I said we'll do the data analysis next time we'll continue with that but you had a little bit in your discussion that we started with so we'll conclude with this so here's what you'll have it says find the equation of a line parallel to this line and goes through the point 5, negative 1. Okay, well anytime you see the word parallel, your mind should think same slope, right? So you have y1, we'll call that equation two, 1, sorry, and then we're going to come up with a second equation. The only thing you know about the second equation is that the slope has to be the same. That's all you know right now, right? Okay, so you're given this information though, you're given a point 5, negative 1. Well, we can use that point in here to solve for B. So we can use that point to help us find B. Okay, here's what we just learned though. Negative 3 and negative 3, same slope because it's parallel. So what I'm going to do, 5 is my X, negative 1 is my Y. I'm going to plug those in for X and Y in order to figure out what my B is. So negative 1 is my Y. Okay, I know my slope is negative 3. I'm going to plug in a 5 for x, and I'm going to now solve for b. <clears throat> so let's simplify. Negative 3 times 5 is negative 15. Okay. And if you want to write this down, <clears throat> you can, because you're going to have some problems like this. So to move the 15 over, I'm going to have to do the opposite. So I'm going to add 15 to both sides. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and move up here. So ne negative 1 plus 15, that means you subtract. One's a negative, one's a positive. So B is going to be equal to 14. Okay, but you can't stop there. 
you have to write your final equation. So my final equation for my second line, my y2 line, is going to be, well, we know the slope is negative 3, and now we just found our b, our b is 14. Okay, so that's a worked out example of how you're going to use your knowledge of parallel lines to find another equation that's parallel to this up here, but has a different y-intercept. Because remember, they have to have different y-intercepts or else they'd be the same line. Okay, so y1 is the negative 3x plus 5 that's given. The one I found is y2, and that's negative 3x plus 14. Okay, so I use that point to help me. All right, you guys, I'm going to do one more, but this time we want to find the equation of a line that's perpendicular to the line y equals 1 half x minus 7. So perpendicular right away in your brain should think, oh, I need opposite reciprocal slope, right? So we'll call this one up here y1, but then we're going to come up with another equation that's perpendicular. All right, Ashley, since you're across from me, what would be the slope of a line that's perpendicular to that? Oh, good job. Okay, positive or negative 2 over 1? Awesome. So she did opposite sign. So this one's positive, so this one must be negative. And she flipped the 1 half to get 2 over 1, or I'm just going to write it as 2. Nice job, Ashley. Nice job. Okay, so the only thing we don't know is b, but I have this point, 4, 3, which I'm going to plug in. Okay, so 3 goes in for y. I'm going to keep my negative 2. 4 goes in for x. Okay, and I'm going to simplify. So, oops, I'm going to take negative 2 times 4 to get negative 8. Okay, and then I'm going to solve for b, so I have to move the negative 8 to the other side by adding 8 to both sides. Okay, so 8 plus 3 is 11, and these go away, so b equals 11. So my final equation, my y2 equation, I can put, plug that in now, and I can say that the second equation is going to have a slope of negative 2 and a y-intercept of 11. Okay, and that is perpendicular to this equation up here, 1 half x minus 7. Notice my slopes. That's the key. That's what I learned, right? That my slopes have to be opposite reciprocals. All right, you guys, so that was your review of parallel and perpendicular, and, oh, is it 11? Oh, 15 minutes till. Hi, Emma, you're actually in core one right now. Um, we're about to finish, though, and then we'll start core three in about 15 minutes. So it was nice of you to join us for the end of our core one. All right, you guys, anybody in core one have any questions? <laughs> okay, that's fine. Um, anybody have any questions on parallel, perpendicular, finding equations of parallel and perpendicular lines, anything like that? Oops, that was weird. All right, how about this, you guys? Um, so here's then how you're going to finish it. So what I want you to do is on your other tab, Go ahead and go back to your discussion. So I'm going to pull it up here. And all of you guys did a really nice job of posting. Okay, so now I want you to think about, and now you understand too about parallel lines. And so you understand that the slopes are the same. But what I want you to do is post some kind of response to somebody else's post. Oh, I'm seeing there's Skylar's good. You did already? Oh, Ashley, nice job. And once you post, Feel free, you can leave the webinar. So, Ashley, I'll just go ahead and refresh, and then you are good to go. Um, but, yeah, so that's how I want you guys to end it, and that'll be good, too, because then you won't forget. Um, you what? Do you like the webinar? You don't ever want to leave. Don't ever leave. Oh, Leda, you already did, too. Okay, good job, you guys. Good job. Oh, and I see that you did. Very nice. Um, okay. Um, so, Ashley. Oh, you, you posted multiple things. Way to go. And so, Donnell did too. Nice job, you guys. 
Very good job. So once you guys post, if you don't have any questions, then you are finished for the day. Very nice job. Just make sure to check back in at um, week 12 and week 11 to make sure that you're not missing a post because a few of you are, I think. In fact, um, Donnell, maybe go back and double check on yours too. All right. Well, thanks, you guys. Very nice job. That was a lot of work we did on Parallel and Perpendicular Day, but good job with your chat boxes. Very good participation. Very proud of you guys. And we will see you all next week for sure. So work hard. Keep working hard. Do a little math every day. All right.